Hey, what's going on guys? So, I'm gonna be doing some shipping right now. Um, I'm gonna be heading to the post office, FedEx, and also hit a couple thrift stores. And kinda just show you guys, like I said, I wanna vlog a little more. And that way I'll always have videos to upload as well for the most part. So, let me show you guys how I ship this rock band um, drum set that I just sold. So, it's a pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy box. Luckily, my girlfriend knows how to make the homemade boxes. But let me show you guys real quick. Sorry about all the background noise, guys. I'm on a really busy um, street here. Um, always cars passing by. But um, I got this uh, drum set. This was a rock band for drum set only. No pedal, no guitar, nothing like that. It sold for $150. And it cost about 30 bucks to ship. Um, with big products like this, big items, um, I always use FedEx Ground, as you see right there. FedEx Ground, USPS is just way too expensive. Um, so yeah, that's how I did that. My girlfriend made a homemade box. So shout out to her. <laughs> Those things can be awkward. They're kind of a pain to ship. So I kind of, I sell them, they're good money, but I try to, uh, I don't know. If they're good money, I, you know, I'll sell it. But it's a pain, pain in the butt to ship. Here's a good brand to look out for. I'm starting to pick up some clothing and shoes. My girlfriend starts to list it on Poshmark or, um, or on eBay, but well, on a separate eBay store, not my video game store. But this is a good brand to look out for. Um, we paid. I don't know where the tag went, but I think we paid like $6.99. So look out for this brand, uh, LA Sportiva. These are women's. These we paid $6.99. They'll go for about. 40 to 45 bucks. So, pretty good little uh, clip there. The next couple things, guys, we got two PS3s. Um, one sold for $120, the other one sold for $130. And then just a couple more orders, one Poshmark, and then there's some uh, there's some video games down here as well. Some cells you can kind of see, but yeah. So head to the post office, do a little sourcing. Shout out to uh, FedEx. This gave me a lot of uh, free packing. So it's good stuff to have, man. And then also some styrofoam and stuff. So pretty cool. I do have a Wii. 38 dollars, 39 pretty much. Box. Nothing too good. All right, guys, just getting out of the Good Samaritan thrift here. So I picked up this uh, Nerf Sledge Fire Zombie Strike Nerf gun with a nice stock on it. Paid a dollar. It's about thirty to forty dollar gun. So. Pretty good little flip there. That'll go on my second eBay store. All right, guys, we are at Winko Foods. We're gonna be getting some steak, some stuff for dinner. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Let me know if you guys like these vlogs so I can do more. All right, guys, at the ATM. Gonna be pulling out some cash. Gonna do a little local pickup real quick. life of a reseller it's about eight o'clock right now skipping on dinner but we're just gonna go buy some food out so not no big deal but yeah let's go do this pickup if you guys are enjoying the videos please let me know down in the comments like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel so i just got back from this local pickup here and I'll tell you guys how much I paid for everything at the end of me showing you guys everything and also how much the stuff is going to sell for from previous experience and just sold comps on eBay. So you guys can get an idea of, of how much I pay for items like this on local marketplaces like OfferUp and Facebook. So you guys can do some research and also look for this stuff on your local marketplaces so you guys can make some good money. So let's get right into it. So originally, the guy had this posted, uh, these two knockoff Super Nintendo controllers with the Super Nintendo Classic. This is brand new. 
and um, you know it is open box but all this stuff is brand new sealed inside there I'm not gonna pull it out but yeah so originally had this right here and then these two controllers for 50 bucks that's a really good deal so brand new open box like that I'll get about 120 to 140 dollars just for this and I'm gonna ask 150 just because I'm gonna throw these two controllers in. They're not really worth much on their own, probably like 10, 12 bucks. Uh, maybe I'll lot them up, I don't know, but I'm probably just gonna lot them with the system and um, ask 150 bucks, free shipping, make all my money back plus profit just on selling this right here. So look out for these guys. Make sure you guys, um, make sure they're authentic, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, because there is a lot of knockoffs of these. And also this one I'm going to share with you guys as well. If you guys need help with that, you can always message me on Instagram, California Flipper. And um, just so you know, you're not getting no like bootleg stuff. So really good uh, pickup there. And then also he had this listed like two minutes later, right when I was about to leave, I checked his other listings and um, he had this listed for 30 bucks. This is also brand new. Um, has a little bit of box damage right there, but I mean, that's not no big deal at all. The rest of the box is really good condition. It is um, brand new open box, like I just said. And this one doesn't go for as much as the Super Nintendo, but still I should get around 80 to to $100 for this one. So we're looking at about 150 here and then about another, just say 90. I'm going to say 80 on the low end. This one doesn't go for as much. So what is that? 150 and 80 uh, is about what? 230, 230 bucks. And I paid 80 bucks for everything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a nice little profit on this on a 27-minute drive and $80 investment. So really good stuff. Keep an eye out for that, uh, these kind of items, guys. And this stuff will sell um, super quick. It's the weekend right now. It's Friday night. And I can promise you guys this stuff, right? These two things will sell um, before Monday morning. So quick flips. All right, guys. So I want to share this last pickup with you guys. I have a couple pickups, quite a few things. So we got this PS3, we paid 65 bucks for it. I'll get about $130, $135 for that, free shipping. So I'm more than double my money on the PS3. And then we picked up this Wii U, which is cool. We have the gamepad, the console, of course, um, one controller here wired. I'll get about 50, I'll get about 20 bucks for that. Then we got a pro controller. I think that's about 25 to 30. And then we have the controller to go with it with the nunchuck. So just the Wii U, the gamepad, I'll get about 130 to 160 dollars for that. And then it came with games. We got Zelda Wind Waker HD. It's about 25 25 dollar game. Smash Bros. 10 bucks. Pikmin 3, I'm not sure exactly how much, but I'm assuming at least 10 to 15. We got Donkey Kong Crunchy Returns, that's at least 10 to 15. And then we got Zelda uh, Twilight Princess HD. This is about, uh, doesn't have the manual or like inserts. Sorry about all the noise, guys. It's a lot of busy road right here. Um, this is about say 50 to 75 dollars. Xenoblade Chronicles, I'm not sure how much that one goes for. Then we got Mario Kart, um, you know, 10, 15 bucks. So pretty good deal there. I paid, I paid up for this, paid like 200 bucks, but I'll definitely make some profit on it. Sometimes you gotta pay up for stuff, guys, to make some money. So this next deal, this is a private deal that I did with one of my buddies. Um, shout out to him. So I got this rock band dongle right here. This is for a PS2 and this right here is 25 to 30 bucks. I paid four dollars for that and then for 20 bucks I got four games. I got Midnight Club Dub Edition. Um, this is complete. It's a good game to look out for. Um, it's about $20 game. Need for Speed Most Wanted. About 10-15 bucks. Then we got 50 Cent Bulletproof. 15 to 20 dollars on that. And then we got Naruto. Um, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, about 10, 15 on that. And then we just got a Platinum uh, GameCube. With all the cords, uh, two controllers, one original. Really good stick. And then uh, an aftermarket one. 
memory card. So I paid 50 bucks for the GameCube. I'll get about 100, and then the other stuff I paid 70 or I paid 20 bucks for the games, the dongle. Um, so I'll get pretty good money on that. So pretty good little pickups. So both systems have already sold. The Super Nintendo Classic sold, and also the original Nintendo Classic sold. So this one right here, Super Nintendo Mini Classic with the two extra controllers, sold for $139.99. Then as we scroll up here a little bit, we got the Nintendo Classic, and that sold for... $99.99. So an $80 investment into, what is that, $240 in sales, you know, make a quick, you know, pretty good profit there. So I always tell you guys, pick those up if you can get them cheap enough. I paid 80 bucks for both, so really good deal. Um, here's another good thing to look out for. Sorry if you guys hear background noise, my wife's vacuuming, so... There's a Rock Band 4 Pro Kimball's expansion. No drums or nothing, it's just the kit. And this sold for $149.99. Um, let's see if I can click on it, give you guys a little. So this is just like an expansion pack to go on the um, drum set. See, see my photos are nothing crazy. I just took that photo and this photo. And that's it sold and i listed it friday i think and it sold today so it's today's sunday so um yeah keep an eye out for those it was good money you see it sold for 149 dollars 99 my cost is zero because i sold the drums i sold the guitar everything um so my cost is pretty much zero i already profited a lot on this deal so anyways i had them laying around i listed them and they they sold so not too bad. Thank you guys so much if you made it all the way to the end of today's video. So right now, I'm going to probably list this stuff real quick, eat some dinner, hang out with the family. Hope you guys enjoyed today's little like vlog style video, kind of taking you guys around. Um, I'm sorry I don't really like record inside thrift stores. I Honestly, I hardly ever find anything inside thrift stores. Now that I'm sourcing more um, also toys and like clothing and shoes, maybe I'll start recording um, a little bit more and also sharing a little bit more knowledge with you guys on other things to buy if you're looking to just not sell video games, but you're looking to sell other things as well. So I feel like it'll help a lot of you guys out as well. So let me know if you guys like these style videos so I could do them more because I source every day pretty much. If the opportunity is there, like to go get local deals. Um, I try to hit the thrift stores at least once a day. So, um, and then I'm gonna start hitting flea markets as well. So let me know if you guys just want me to just record like this. And that way I'll always have videos to upload. So let me know down in the comments. I, I read all the comments and um, stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for all the support and love on the channel and on Instagram and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.